Uh, this is a wonderful day. I'm here joined uh, uh, with me at the podium by uh, Councilman Steve Flatteron, uh, Councilwoman Mary Kate Mullins, our uh, receiver of taxes, uh, Alexis White, and um, our director of the airport operations, uh, Rob Snyder. And a uh, wonderful day to be up here to talk about the naming of this great airport, which is MacArthur Airport, named after General MacArthur. I've had the pleasure to know Chris Botkin for many, many years. And when I took office four years ago, he came with this uh, uh, goal of having a more of a monument for General MacArthur at this airport. And I give Chris and his, and his staff and his, his organization great credit for staying on top of it and working on trying to get funding for this uh, kiosk that now we're going to come forward. And it's an honor uh, to see how his committee worked and how they finally uh, worked with the Gardner Foundation to move this thing forward. And it's just at the right time because where we're standing right now is where we honor our veterans that um, come back um, from war. Uh, we welcome back into the town of Ice in Long Island in this area. So how appropriate to have a kiosk with General MacArthur on Thank it. Thank you very much, John. I really appreciate uh, being here today. And it has been a long time coming. Uh, one of the most important things for, I think, people to know is their own history. And uh, it pains me and many of us who uh, come into contact with particularly younger people who don't seem to know much of anything about how we got here and how this great nation was saved several times in world wars and the sacrifice that men and women did to keep us free and great as we are. And General MacArthur certainly uh, was among them. People ask why General MacArthur and uh, why the airport was named after General MacArthur. At the time, he was a great American. He still is a great American. He was the Supreme Allied Commander of the Pacific, uh, accomplished great things. And it's an honor that our airport here in the town of Islip is named for him, much in the, a great American, much in the same way that Kennedy Airport is named after a great American. And many airports in our country are named uh, for people who sacrificed and contributed mightily to our country. So with that, uh, I'm extremely grateful for, the, for John Cochran and the other members, Steve Flatterin, Alexis Wake, Mary Kate, uh, Mullen, who's here today too, and the other members of the, of the Islip Town Board uh, for understanding and uh, recognizing the greatness of General MacArthur and, and the position that he uh, has here at the airport. So uh, we did uh, get a check for $30,000 from the Gardner Foundation, uh, the executive director of which is C uh, Kathy Curran. And we're very grateful for that money. And with that money, we will be uh, locating at the uh, atrium here uh, a bust of the general, which will sit atop a kiosk, uh, which will contain information to, for the public to see about exactly who the general was and what his contribution to American history is, at least it be forgotten. And um, so we're very grateful for uh, everything that the uh, uh, Gardner Foundation has given us. It's been a long time coming. I, I was just talking to Councilman Flatterin that uh, I began to uh, see the need to have some information uh, about the general here at the airport way back in 1991. Uh, I was a councilman then, and uh, it's just taken this long. It was on again and off again for various reasons, but it's taken this long to find the funding for it. And uh, again, how grateful we all are for the, uh, not only the wonderful understanding of the Islip Town Board, uh, we're grateful that the airport is uh, here. The airport will be here for another thousand years. Believe me, it's, it's a wonderful institution that is much needed here on Long Island. And this monument to the general will be here with it. Thank you very much, uh, Chris Bodkin. <clears throat> I feel like I'm wearing many hats today. I am a member of the five-person board of the Robert David Lyon Gardner Foundation. And pursuant to the terms of his will, in which he set up the foundation, we are to distribute $90 million of his efforts, of his monies, to entities in Islip Town first, 
Suffolk County second, and the state of New York third. And we have been in the process of doing this over the course of the last few years in both Islip Town and Suffolk County, and now, and also in New York State. For instance, we've given $3 million recently to Columbia University for a Robert David Lyon Gardner Chair of New York State and American History. We've given $1 million to New York University to preserve artifacts to go back to the time of the transfer of lands from Sachem Wyandanch of the Kanekwat Indians to different white men, such as William Nichols and to Lyon Gardner. And also, we've given $1.5 million to Stony Brook for another Gardner Chair of American History. Uh, Robert David Lyon Gardner's family included among the members uh, Lyon Gardner, the first Caucasian to arrive in Suffolk County back in 1639. And Lyon Gardner's ancestor, Robert David Lyon Gardner's ancestor, Lyon, was appointed the uh, Lord of the Manor of Gardner's Island back in that date by King Charles I. And when Robert David Lyon Gardner died 10 years ago, 12 years ago now, he was the last Lord of the Manor of any manor in North America, Canada, or the United States to hold direct line from a grant by a king or queen of England to one of the king or queen's servants in the United States. And it is now passed out of the immediate family, but as a result of not having any heirs, after a well over a 300 year run, he decided to leave all his money to be dispensed by a five person board. And uh, my connection is that uh, I had given his eulogy when he died. He was a very close personal friend of my family going back over a hundred years. So I was uh, well aware of the Gardner con contribution to Suffolk County. As a former Isletown supervisor and as a former Suffolk County executive, I also feel it was incumbent upon me to do my very best as a member of the Gardner Board to get as much money as we can for all the entities that exist in Isletown and Suffolk County, and we're in the process of doing that. I won't bore you with the details of where all the money's been going, but we've given a lot of money away in Suffolk County and in Isletown already. With that, I'm honored to represent the Gardner Foundation. I must add that I abstained on the vote to give this money because of my very close personal friendship with Chris Bodkin and also because Mary Lou Cohallan is also active in this group. So I had to abstain. However, I lobbied for the giving of this money because I also favor remembering the memory of Douglas MacArthur, one of the American, one of America's greatest generals, and according to William Manchester in his book, The American Caesar. I just want to thank you again. Uh, I'm, as a veteran, uh, study our heroes in the past and present but General MacArthur um, is one of those individuals that was so dynamic at the time in the 20th century. His work he did in the Philippines before the war and after the war, what he re, um, reconstructed Japan after World War II, and what he did in Korea was absolutely amazing. And to be a part of this and having Chris and a judge involved in this, the history for us in ISIP is just uh, tremendous. And um, thank you for all being here. And uh, we're going to have another day here, Chris, right? Um, Hopefully somewhere in May. Memorial Day. Memorial Day, we'll have the actual unveiling, and this is what the actual kiosk will be looking for. So thank you for all being here.